Well, hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. And today I am gonna make a mufalata sandwich. So I'm gonna turn this into delicious sandwiches for us to have for the first half of the week at least. This will make several sandwiches. It may even be for the rest of the week. I did this last week. First I did it for a party, then I did it for us last week. And it is such a good sandwich. It's so satisfying, it's delicious. Anyway. So the uh, likely suspects, a loaf of fresh French bread is what I'm using. I've used a crustier bread and it's just hard to chew through it. So I like a softer French bread. I've got a sharp cheddar cheese and provolone cheese. I've got salami. I've got shaved ham, shaved turkey, black olives and green olives and pepperoncini peppers for the olive tapenade and sun-dried tomatoes, a little mayonnaise. And if I need to in the tapenade, I add a little bit of, this is a garlic vinaigrette. You could use an Italian season, or Italian dressing. You can absolutely omit anything you do not like. So, did I say salami? Yeah, dried salami. Okay, so let's get to attacking this loaf of bread. Okay, so literally, uh, this couldn't be easier. Um, you're just going to cut this loaf of bread right down the center. And it's a little awkward, but you want it. You want a top and a bottom to it, right? So once you get started, then it'll work out. It'll work itself out. And we're going to hollow this bread out. So I don't worry about if I tear it or, you know, you don't have to get too picky about it. And take your knife, get up just like that. Yeah. Oh, I, my mouth's watering because I know how delicious this sandwich is. And I've got the paper toweling to kind of catch some of the crumbs, but obviously I did not catch them all. So that's gonna make me crazy to look at that the whole video, so. We're going to not do that. Okay, now, get that crumb. Now I'm going to hollow out. You're going to take, and you can save this and make croutons with this bread. In fact, I think I will save it out. Um, you can make croutons. You can make, um, actually, we had steaks the other night, and I... Um, or no, it was fried chicken, my pan, dry pan fried chicken. And I fried up some of these in that chicken fat. It was so good. But I can throw these, um, either make fresh breadcrumbs or, uh, or you can make croutons with that. Don't throw it away. It's, it's too good to lose. Okay, that's my bottom, right? And... Same thing with the top. Get that in there. And there's really no rhyme or reason how you do this. But, okay, that's bad. You still want some bread to it. Uh, just, you don't need all of that mess, so. Let me get that out of my way here. Now I'm going to make my uh, tapenade, and that way it's ready to go. And the rest of it goes really quick, really easy. I normally put fresh tomatoes on it, but I do not have any. So we're going to stick with um, the sun-dried tomatoes instead. Okay. All right. Now, next, and I've got my little, my little mini chopper. You're going to put in some black olives. I'm just going to do all of it, and I'll save what I have left over. I will save for, oops, Chef Street. For the next mufalata. You'd be surprised how many, or how, how, how many, um, how much of this you use. I'm trying to talk here. And I'm going to take some of those out. Hold on. Let me get a snack bag. And take some of this 
out. I want about a 50-50 mix of black olives to green olives. And these are all these are jumbo olives on both. So and I have to leave room for some pepperoncini. So we'll save those for lunches, snacks. Get a snack, an olive snack. And these happen to be stuffed with jalapenos. They're not hot though. Is that right? Or is it garlic? Oh, double stuffed. Jalapeno and garlic. Okay. And we'll go one more. Nope, two more. Till it looks like it's about even. You can't really mess this up though. And set that aside. I need a pepperoncini peppers. That I, I'm going to have to fish out with a fork, I think. And then we'll be able to, and I take the, the cap of the pepper off and the seed, try to get in there. Oop, I just dropped it back in there. Try to get in there and get the seed pack, pack of seeds out of here and then just chop that. Put that pepper in there. It's got a, a, you know, a pouch of seeds. Get those out. You don't want those in the mix. And just keep going. All right. I'll be back. We're going to put the, the immersion, or not the immersion blender, the chopper on. And you're just going to pulse it. I just squirted myself. You're just going to pulse it with the peppers, uh, and, and this makes it easier. I, the first sandwich I made, I put the peppers in, sliced them, but some of them, you know, these peppers can, can be tough, and it just worked out better to have them right in the chopper. Now, you may or may not have to um, scrape it down and chop, re -chop, but let's see what we got, and we'll, I'll know better from there. Okay. Okay, so I just like to pulse it. Open it up, see if it looks just about done. It looks perfect to me. I might do a couple more pulses here just to make sure the pepperoncini. And then I take a little, because I don't, I want it to kind of be, have a little oil to it. And this is a garlic vinaigrette and marinade, but that helps kind of get that to all marry up together. And we're done. Okay, now this over for the dishes. And we could start the sandwich. So on the bottom, you're gonna want a layer of actually I think what I'm gonna do, I just changed my mind. I think I'm gonna put a little bit of mayonnaise on the bottom. I don't want it too too wet that it soaks all the way through. So We'll get this just a little thin layer. You don't need a, a bunch. It's not, not like a regular sandwich type, just a skim coating all down the bread. And that adds a little bit of flavor too because you're going to need plenty of flavor. Okay. I think we got that. And then... Okay, got it? We're good. And then we're going to start with a layer of cheese. And I'm starting with the cheddar here. The sharp cheddar is better. And I like getting these thin pre-sliced because then you don't really have it too thick. It's got quite a bit of cheese on it when you at the, the end result, so I really like it to be a thin, thinly sliced. 
if that makes sense. And that's totally up to you what kind of cheese. You can do any kind of cheese you want. And then we're going to start layering meat and we, yeah, so some thin, thin, thin shaved deli turkey and shaved deli ham and salami. Mm. But in between, ha ha ha, we need a secret ingredient. <laughs> got to have it. So again, these thinner slices are, are better for this kind of sandwich too. Just makes it easier to, to eat in the end. And you're not, you know, you don't feel like you're having big chunks of anything. All right, so there's that. Now we've got some of my secret ingredient. Let me wipe my hands off real quick. And then go to the next step. Okay. About this <laughs> so this is divine I'm not even joking how good this is you are going to love it so sun-dried tomatoes let that oil kind of and spread them out as evenly as you can that's a beautiful Is that another one? Oh. Oh, highly suspicious, but delicious. <laughs> anyway. Now, if I had fresh tomatoes, I do, um, typically I put fresh tomatoes on there too. Um, but because I don't, these are the best substitute. Okay. Wipe my hands off again. And we are just about ready to wrap this thing up. I'm super excited. Need some salami, and I like dried salami. We do have um, regular deli salami meat too, but this gives it a really robust flavor. It ties it together, in my opinion. Okay. Can't be easier. Look at that. And that's about how I do the, the bottom. Now we're going to head to the top half here and get that all set up. So how I going about that is bring that over hopefully you can see what I'm doing <laughs> and put your topping on or your olive mixture down spread that as thick as you want that you can have as much of that as you want it's not going to over soak the bread it's really going to be good. Mm -hmm. So have you ever made a sandwich like this? If so, leave me a comment. Tell me what you put on yours. And if you do anything different, if you, if you do it the same, let us all know. If you've got a recipe, drop it in the comment section below because I'm totally up for a new recipe as well as I'm sure a lot of the other viewers. So, and if you're not a subscriber, 
I hope that you'll subscribe and come back for more of this kind of content. Cooking, canning, preserving the harvest from the garden, gardening. <laughs> I'll be making sun-dried tomatoes this year, so if you want to see a video on that, let me know. Okay, so I've got that all on there. I made a mess, but hey. I guess you're not cooking if you're not making a mess <laughs> somehow. All right, then the last cheese I've got is provolone. And we're just going to tuck that right in there, just like that. Oh my goodness. Yes, please. And now we're going to have to pause because we got shenanigans. Maybe not. All right. Get all your provolone on there. And you can see there's still, that's still kind of concave. So I'm going to fill that up with mm, something healthy. I'll just scooch these all down a little so they're layered evenly. And then, yeah, one more slice here at the end, just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll be right back with the last one. Okay, so this is spinach and arugula, and I love having this in here, the green. They're triple washed. You don't need a ton, but I want some greens in there to make it healthy and full of flavor. Yum. And now I think we're just about set. Or... That's... And then that's my bottom. So we're going to turn this over just as carefully as we can, just like that. Didn't do too bad a job there. Tuck in whatever you need to tuck in. <laughs> and then I wrap this as tight as I possibly can because you're kind of smashing the sandwich. I have weighted them before, and those are good too. But I think just if I wrap it tight enough, it's it does exactly what it's supposed to. So let me get my saran out, and we'll get the counter cleaned off and get to wrapping. Okay, so I've got the sandwich all put together. Everything's cleaned up and put away. And this is the last bit of a roll here, so I may run out. But then I just, if I was going to do this for a party like I did the first time, I wrapped the whole thing and waited the sandwich. But because we're going to be taking these for our lunches, I want to make sure all we have to do is grab one, right? And look at that. That's a beautiful thing right there. I might have to have one. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, so make sure everything's tucked nice. Tuck everything. Make sure it's aligned. And of course, excuse me. Get us some cling wrap. See if it'll cling to itself. All right, and wrap that, wrap that up. That's a great sandwich for lunch. And you kind of push down as you're wrapping, pulling, wrapping, and so now that's really compressed, and all those flavors are going to marry on that bread and become absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to do this other heel. Again, look how gorgeous. Yum. Okay. And we're going to rinse and repeat this whole sandwich. And when I'm done, I will bring you back and show you uh, I'll give you a taste test. <laughs> okay, that sounds like a plan because I haven't eaten lunch yet.
Okay, guys, we're back. Look how beautiful that sandwich is. See if it'll focus. I don't know if it's gonna focus or not. It's delicious looking. And I've got, these two are smaller, so that'll be for uh, my lunches. And then four nice big sandwiches, perfect size for my husband for this week. And we just grab and go. So I am prepped for the week. And along the way, we'll have something else in there, but let's see how this tastes. Mm -hmm. This is probably one of my favorite sandwiches ever. So you can taste everything. You can taste the olives and the cheese. The provolone cheese comes through really strong. And then salami hits you and sun-dried tomato and a little bit of the, the arugula. Mm -hmm. It is delicious. I hope that you try this. And if you do, leave me a comment. Let me know if you're going to try it or if you've made these before. It's a great prep ahead sandwich because it keeps for days like this wrapped up tight. So here we go. Mm. And two, after a couple of days or overnight, this bread softens up quite a bit. Looks like I'm dropping stuff. All right, guys. I can't wait to see you next time for another delicious recipe. Quite frankly, I think we've got some fermented tomatoes coming up next. So I do hope you try this sandwich. It's absolutely delicious. We love it.